when we speak about uh, green and sustainability, the most important is to start with ourselves and educate ourselves of what is sustainability, what does it mean, this green transformation, and make sure that we are speaking with science and data in mind when we speak about ourselves, and also reflect of what does it mean for ourselves in our personal life. How does this green transition impact our own life and how do we contribute? Now, if we speak about uh, green jobs and skills, uh, there are many, many sectors impacted. And the main impact is, of course, transition in jobs. There are some jobs that will be changing, evolving, and of course, upskilling, and very, many, many millions of new jobs appearing in the coming uh, years and the coming decade, for sure. Speaking about skills, I would put into three, uh, three categories, uh, probably. So obviously, there are the technical skills that will be needed in engineering, in uh, decarbonization, and they are all related to the expertise, depending on a sector. It will not be the same technical skills in agriculture than it will be in uh, for building transition and for green buildings, obviously. The second big category is, of course, digitization. If we want to do the green transition, we need to decarbonize. And in order to get there, we need to digitize. And there are many, many skills that will come around this of uh, machine learning, AI, data scientists, cyber security that will be critical to make sure. And of course, uh, develop the developing of AI will bring in uh, a bunch of a lot of new skills that we, we will all have to transition, learn, or uh, find from the market. The third part, of course, is the human and the soft skills. If we want to get there in the green transition, we will need soft skills like critical thinking, problem solving, empathy, even human-centric uh, thinking. It's not because we go for digital that uh, we can forget about human. Actually, we have to make sure that human is in the center and the digital is serving the human efficiency and the human capabilities at, at the very end of this. We are in shortage of skills in many, many domains, so we are all fighting for capabilities. And my recommendation for human resources professionals to attract is to start with the purpose. Uh, need to make sure that within your company uh, you are very clear on how are you contributing to the green transition to sustainability that you are able to explain it you are able to measure it and you are able to communicate it i'm very proud to be part of schneider electric today because we just been nominated as the world most sustainable company by the times magazine and uh, on the top we are for the consecutive last 12 years, always among the one, top 100 most sustainable companies uh, by Corporate Nights. So we have this purpose that is helping us to attract the best professionals from the market. But beyond this and beyond having the purpose and making sure that we know the direction of uh, transition, green transition for our own company, I would recommend to also act and make concrete actions because uh, people, talents on the market will see what you are doing. In Colombia today, I'm very proud to say that we have four of our major sites that become just now uh, net zero carbon emission with uh, as a result of huge uh, work of years and years on our electric vehicle float, on our carbon emission of the sites, on, on the, the way we are using energy. So we are walking the talk. And this is a very important um, contribution to attract people when they are saying that uh, you are doing what you are saying and you are saying what you are doing. So this would be probably uh, the two most important recommendations. It should start from the top, right? Our top leaders within the company should know the why, the what and the how. They should be equipped by knowledge of explaining why this topic is important, what is happening, uh, how is it impacting uh, my industry, my company. They should be able also to talk about what, what my company is doing to, to change the curve and to contribute. What are the concrete actions that we are making? And finally, of course, how we will be doing, what actions we are, we are taking to get there uh, with what time commitment. Uh, my recommendation is, of course, yes, make sure that your leaders are fluent in the language of sustainability. Uh, we at Schneider are having multiple learning content, whether it is sustainability school with different levels from basics to advanced to, to real expertise on the topic. And we are expecting our leaders to be ready to pitch it at every, any moment, any time on, on the topic with data, facts, figures, and of course, actions. So what's going on? 
um, how we are getting there and what we are doing at Schneider Electric to make sure that we are preventing and we are contributing to a more positive world.